This uh, bunch of violets was uh, given to me by my grandmother. She uh, died in uh, 1956, um, so uh, I was about uh, 14 then. I remember it was the only time at my boarding school I ever spoke on the telephone was when my mother called to tell me uh, that my grandmother had uh, died and, and of course that was a, uh, a, a very uh, significant uh, event in my life at uh, that time. And, uh, she was a, a much loved, uh, very uh, traditional sort of grandmother, the uh, perfect grandmother for uh, a girl to have. Uh, she often uh, wore a posy of flowers and uh, if you look at photographs uh, of the time you will see how uh, beautifully dressed uh, women were uh, and often in uh, Brisbane I remember there were bunches of uh, flowers, corsages for sale on the streets, little bunch of lilies of the valley. I can't imagine where they came from because, uh, you know, it's uh, uh, so hot in Brisbane, even uh, in wintertime when they uh, would be uh, on the streets uh, with the flower sellers. And uh, there were also bunches of violets. She very often wore uh, fresh, uh, fresh flowers, uh, which I like to do myself. The accessories that uh, women wore when I look back on those years of the uh, 40s and 50s when she played such an influential and important role in my life. Because uh, she was obviously a uh, woman who uh, cared uh, deeply about uh, women's education. She uh, ensured that uh, her children, my, uh, my mother uh, and uh, her sister, the, the girls and, and uh, the son, where it was more likely, but that they uh, had a uh, very good education and uh, preparation uh, for a uh, career. Uh, my uh, mother was a teacher and uh, her uh, sister uh, worked for uh, the ABC. Uh, so they were quite uh, adventurous women uh, for their times. My uh, aunt travelled uh, around the world, uh, sent wonderful uh, mementos home from every continent I can think of. So she was a marvellous aunt too, a single woman. And uh, my mother uh, left uh, Brisbane and uh, went to Western Queensland um, to teach and uh, that's where she met my father. But uh, these uh, violets my uh, grandmother uh, gave uh, to uh, me probably when I was about 12 or 13. Well, the uh, colour purple is very uh, symbolic uh, for me as it is for uh, women um, in many parts of uh, the world. You know, the uh, uh, colours of the suffragette movement are green, purple and white. Uh, but uh, I think of uh, purple as being uh, the symbol for uh, equality for women, for uh, justice, um, for um, uh, the women's movement uh, very much in the uh, tradition of uh, our country. The influence uh, of her hopes and aspirations for my mother's future um, were you know, passed on to me. The uh, greatest advantage I've had in my life was having parents uh, who uh, believed in very seriously in the very best opportunities in education for uh, their daughters and uh, for um, uh, a girl of the 40s, that was uh, unusual and uh, of course al also uh, uh, very significant in, in my life. Well, absolutely the most important one has been opportunities in education. You know, to be on our campuses, in our colleges of TAFE, in uh, institutions of training in every profession uh, now. You see uh, women 
participating, women excelling, uh, more than half of the students I, I know in you know, my, my field of law are women. They're very high achievers. And uh, education is it's the key to everything. It's the key to choice, to opportunity, to security, to economic independence. Uh, to enrichment and enhancement of uh, one's uh, intellect and talent and abilities. And uh, certainly that's been the greatest achievement of the women's movement. Um, and, you know, women of my generation are very conscious of that. Uh, there were very few women on Australian campuses, very few girls who uh, finished school to grade 12 when uh, I was uh, young. And uh, now to uh, see the marvellous participation of women, it, uh, it makes my heart sing. And, of course, it's not just important for them. It's so important for uh, our country and for our world. Uh, we uh, stand on the shoulders of the women who gave priority to breaking down those barriers to universities. Some of them, those early scholars, the women who hankered for access to education, they had some very tough times. And uh, then when they qualified into uh, uh, professions, they would have uh, great uh, difficulties uh, getting into practice, uh, getting uh, opportunities to work in those fields that they'd been trained in. So it's a wonderful thing to, uh, uh, to celebrate. We have such a uh, vibrant uh, democracy where people are... Uh, engaged, where people have opportunities to participate. When school children come here, I talk to them about those issues and my hopes that they'll be engaged in our democracy. Every generation and um, every mother <laughs> in particular, I think, in, in her heart, what she wants most is a better life uh, for her children, the, the issues that women share around the world, whatever our backgrounds, wherever we come from, uh, the, the issues are all about the future of our children, their health, their education, their employment. So uh, th they would have been her hopes as they were my mother's hopes uh, for me uh, uh, and uh, my hopes for my daughters, uh, for my uh, sons, for, for, you know, for my children, um, and uh, uh, for all uh, young Australians.